Havana. It's things like this that motivate me. That's why I'm giving thanks. As Gary say, right? I'm giving thanks. Now, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. But first, before I go on, I want to thank this former athlete for coming on board and donating to the athletes that's supposed to leave and win out on a scholarship. Funds have been tough to come by, but it is limited a lot. First, I want to say thanks to Quincy Andrews. See this man here, sir? Quincy Andrews. He's been around a long time. Ago. This young man should have been at the Olympics, right? With talent that he had. This young man had real talent. Take on Guyana by star. But the system failed. The system failed this young man, Quincy Andrews. Right? So that's why I'm giving thanks right now to Quincy Andrews for donating and coming on board. So his business support his business because he's giving for a one car. Yes, Quincy Andrews. He's giving box up. His business people search up for Quincy Andrews and support this lumber business. Support it. Locally, support it. And while you are going there, you are numbers, you are building houses and so on, support this man. Because this man step up to the plate. As a past PC, all the PC old students that are building houses and doing stuff, go out and support Quincy Andrews. Because he's giving back. Next, I want to touch on the Guyana community of services, right? So we know this man, right? Lennox Kush. Well, staff party renters, right? Now, now go to support staff party renters. Go support staff party renters. Right? Because Lennox Kush have always contributed to the KMPA Foundation. And it's high time that people know some of the people them that have contributed to the KMPA Foundation. All right. So Lennox Kush, Star Party Rental, people continue to support because he jump in that his athlete's journey to become an Olympian. All right. Yeah. Then we have a group of business people. That is in Guyana Community of Services. I don't know all of them. But Carlos Powell from Bartica. See this money? Support this man business in Bartica. I want you to support this man business in Bartica. That's why I'm giving thanks. All right. We all know Joey, Payless Variety Store. Support this man business. Go out and support this man business. Because they making sure that these children is where they're supposed to be. Peter Clark, people in the diaspora, a real estate agent. Look up Peter Clark as a guy needs all the guy needs them are buying a house in New York City and the surrounding area. Look up Peter Clark and support Peter Clark. That is how I'm saying to you. There are some business people in. in you're going to hear it. Joey is going to talk about these business people. Support them. Because guess what? When we looking for support for these athletes, these are the people that make me come to. And they're always willing to help out. All right? Now, there, there are some business people. But I'm going to do another podcast. With the names and the businesses that people must go and support. Right? We know Banks Yayesh. We know Ansa Makal have been supporting me. Right? Mortimer Stroke. Yeah. 
three gun. Right? Troy from Answer My Call. Big up Troy. See what I'm saying? We know all these people have always been there and they continue to post it there. Right? So I want you to support these people because they are helping out these athletes on their journey to a better education. And they are helping out these athletes in order for them to pursue their dreams and to get the training that's necessary to become Olympians. A lot of people jump on the bandwagon late. But I started even really rolling. So with every support that is coming along, right now I'm trying to sell some running boots, but because of the Olympics, running boots is scarce. Right? Running boots is scarce. I'm trying to sell some more running boots to the athletes I'm in Guyana, but the warehouse them, the pandemic, shut things down a lot. So not getting the running boots as I was getting it for good to send them to the bar. But I'm working on it. I will get there. So the KMPA Foundation have been highlighting some stuff, but we got a lot coming up. So just support these young men. And here what happened. Coming up now is John B. He's gonna tell you about some stuff that's going on in New Amsterdam. Colin Mickle coaching these boys, these athletes. And Ghana Community of Services is on the road again looking for that Olympian and as John B. put it, gold medal. Why don't come easy? You gotta invest. But here what happened. The United States of America, right, is one country where the government don't put money into sports. So let me get this clear. Let me make this clear. You see, all the Olympians who went to Olympics. It's not the American government put money into them. Let me make this straight. So you guys sit down and think in that because it's the United States of America that the government pump a lot of money to sports in the That's not true. If you don't believe me, do your research. It's private. It's private enterprise. It's the business people. It's who sponsor these people. When these athletes finish Olympics, they got to go and work again if they don't put the money to this. Kenya, Uganda, and these places put things in place. Right now, India, with a javelin, play, javelin shot, putting things in place now to invest in the people. But the United States is one of the few countries that, one of the many countries, I mean, that the government puts nothing, nothing in the sports. So if you guys sit on there and think that when you come to America, that, that you're going to get so much money, no. You're going to run a particular time to get sponsorship or endorsement or claim by a company. You got to be doing something. So you got to work hard. So don't believe that the government because, like for instance, like with my kids, you don't get money from nobody. Nobody is giving money. We got to find your money for paying your registration fee, for paying your club, right? For register every time they run. And for your membership. That's how the organization keep going by us. When we're ready to go to championship, right? We have to pay our hotel, drive ourselves. Nobody give us anything. So I want to make that clear to these athletes that's coming up here. Watch. John B is going to come in. And he's going to have about a 10 minutes or so. And I want you to watch and support these businessmen named the job here. John B, over to you. I want to welcome you all. You guys are members of the athletic club here. Coach Mikkel is in charge. And um, we are members of the Guyana Committee of Services. I'm the vice chairman, and we've got um, the young lady, her name is King Kim Finance. We've got Mr. Joseph Ram Kumar. He's the proprietor of Taylor's Variety Store, and he's also an executive member of the Guyana Committee of Services. We normally support, we are a support body that helps sportsmen and women in Guyana, even though we are engaged from time to time in many more things, much more than uh, sports. 
but our main agenda is to support our sportsmen and women in Guyana. And uh, we believe, and everybody knows, that the children are the future, and so we've got to start with you guys. We were expecting um, more members here today. They had a heavy rainfall and a little um, situation yesterday. You don't see everybody. Nonetheless, you guys that are here, um, you are very fortunate, first of all. I will let you know that. Because today we're here to give our support to you guys and Coach Mikkel. We want to do this as a form of encouragement because we are not such an oil machine like, like the big uh, countries, USA and those big countries. But we are a, a country that is progressing and uh, we want to be able in the future to bring Olympic gold medals and silver and, and bronze. And I don't even want to use silver and bronze, gold medals to Guyana. We can do this. In order for us to do that, we've got to do things that is like what's happening now. We've got to encourage you guys to know that if you put in hard work, if you train hard, you will be supported. And you, you can actually benefit big time from being a part of uh, from athletics, whichever field, athletics, you can benefit big time. I just want to use a quick example, and, and it's not extreme. Mr. Usain, Usain Bolt is a multimillionaire, and uh, Shelly Ann Fraser and uh, Elaine Thompson. I'm just giving a few names. Athletes overseas are millionaire LeBron James. Those guys can do so much. And they do. Do not think athletics is something by we, we just do the for a spare time meeting and so on. Just like your academic work at school, athletics, sports and culture is of extreme importance. And we need to get people to understand that in Guyana. And you, like how people want to become a doctor, people want to become a lawyer, a teacher. Likewise, sports. There's nothing less when it comes to sport. You can, if you do well enough, if you train hard enough, things can happen. Now, many of you may want to say, or even people listening may want to say, in Guyana, and I hate to hear that term. If you do well enough, it's going to go beyond Guyana. And you just got to reach for the skies. You just got to, you know, always believe in yourself. And we may be talking right now, so our gold medalists, our future gold medalists in the Olympics, right? Don't take my words for granted. Because we know that, because we believe that, the Guyana Committee of Services, we are here this afternoon to sh show some support, to, to support the, training, the um, training program that would be taking place. We hope that you guys come on time. We hope that you come every day. Things like that. But the, I everyone. My name is Coach Mikkel. I'm the coach of NA United and the future NA Five Star. Well, this afternoon, I'm very thankful and grateful for the the next support that I'm having from the Guyana Committee of Service, which in most of the athletes here may be knowing the Guyana Committee of Service for the very first time, because there's a new batch of younger athletes coming here. The senior one, most of them, they're not here. Some by the rain. Some of, some of them take, you know, up their position by working because due to finance and support. But all in all, I want to thank the Guyana Committee of Service for lending support each time we need it for this club because it's a, actually the backbone for this club that braces us and make us, you know, feel like we are doing something great in this country, which we are because a few months back, our at least the female was a champion for the country and we had a trophy. Which I should have walked with it today, you know, for just showcase it. We are very serious this go-round because we are not taking anything lightly. When we go out there, we're going out to win. We're going out to win. And that is what that's our motto. We're going to win. Right? We're going to win. And I want to thank all them for showing out their best you know, ability when we go there is to be disciplined and to humble themselves and put every effort in the training and in the, the schoolwork and the athletics so that it could work together and we'll be a better club in the future to come. Good afternoon to all the athletes and 
Mr. Mickle and and Mr. Jones, I expect you to be disciplined and to train as hard as you can. There's a lot of scholarships out there right now. Mr. Medas of the USA is one of the guys arranging scholarships for athletes who perform well academically. So athletics is a big thing. Uh, if you perform, you train, you, you discipline, you get the scholarship and you can be able to, you know, go on to bigger things. There are a lot of games overseas that you can take part in once you're good enough and they, they, you're selected for that type uh, athletics, football, whatever the game is. Mr. Andy Medas is the guy that we have connections with in the U.S. who already uh, had about three scholarships for this year and others went to Jamaica. So the thing is, once you perform, um, they, uh, you're spotted by the coaches, but you have to go with your, your training program, with your school work, which is important. Try to be disciplined, try to do, you know, everything that you have to do. Coach Mikel is the guy in charge here in New Amsterdam. I think Mr. Coach, uh, Mr. Mikel is doing a wonderful job in New Amsterdam. I think one of the best coach around in, in Guyana. So you have the best. Um, try to work with what we have at the moment. The rain and um, conditions here are not suited for uh, training today because we had heavy showers yesterday and today. We came here to see you perform and you know to, to do some things, but because of the rain, we, we, we took the time to speak with you and, and um, to let you know that we are behind you 100%, the Guyana Committee of Services and other um, sponsors, Star Party Rental, Payless Variety Store, R Reggie uh, Wholesale. A lot of other people normally would come on board with us. Soon we'll be having a raffle uh, that's be out, a big raffle, um, that in, the, in that way you can be able to purchase a raffle, your, your parents or whoever you, you get a chance to sell a raffle to, and the raffle is only 500 Guyana dollars. So the thing is, once we sell the raffle, we complete everything, the money, the proceeds will go to all athletes training in Guyana. We are on a big project with the running shoe. I think most of the athletes in New Amsterdam got their running shoe already. So we're looking to have more running shoes to come in. As soon as we get them by the end of the month, we should be able to do shoot some more. So I want to say thank you very much and let's have a disciplined team. Thank you very much. Every time I do something like this, I always want to take the opportunity to encourage other people, business community. We must invest in our athletes, our young people. If we want to see these gold medals coming in, if we want to be like other countries, we just got to simply put in that support. People don't wait until we see an athlete doing well and then get involved. That is the wrong way or a wrong. We got to support them now. We got to make, sure, make them know that opportunities can come their way now. And so that that would give them the encouragement to, 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 to do better, right? I've got something, to, a good news to tell you right now. We've got some gears athletic gears all of you will receive athletics gear come on from the Guyana committee of services and from payless variety store payless variety store all of you but we got some special gifts and only some of you could get it who deserve it raise the hands who does work hard who discipline who nice who does behave well raise your hands all right, good. Well, let me see. Because God is watching. And hear what happened. According to your belief in God is going to give you guys who deserve it best. I want to say congratulations to all of you that would have won. Better luck to the others next time. That don't mean anything wrong. Because remember, we're giving everybody something before they leave. Before they leave. <laughs> These are our winners today. They have won themselves watches, tablets, smartphones, and uh, some other regular phones. Hey, please smile for us there. Smile behind your mask. Smile behind your mask. All right, good. Thanks, Yambi. Thanks. Mr. Ram Kumar, Mr. Kali Nikol, thanks.
to your boys the shortlist is missing because i just want to tell you two of your boys are shortlisted waiting for a response from the ncw waiting for a response from the ncw two of your boys have been shortlisted this just waiting on a confirmation so y'all see what go on there right y'all watch the whole thing y'all see jump we make it clear don't try to jump on the bandwagon at the last year. that is the most people do right i'm pushing ahead with this because i believe in what i believe in. and i believe that we can produce a little so i listen to this woman here cynthia co see what i'm saying here this woman is cynthia co yeah she has been very influential today very influential she was just here last week advising me on a long long list of things that i should this woman is cynthia co Racer Strap Club, Glenn Mills. Yeah. Very inspirational to me. I can't stop mentioning me and Mama Cynthia because a lot of things that I'm doing about investing in the youth, keeping small games, two, three clubs, and all of these things. Yeah. She's been the one that have me doing all of this. So, you see, this young man see this young man right this woman is the reason why this young man is the greatest right this woman play a part why this young man is as great as he is this same woman mama Cynthia. so i'm taking advice from the best so i could care less I'm taking advice from the best so I could cure less what a lot of people have to say. That's why this man is the greatest of all. So, yes, athletes, put your best foot forward. Use up your gears. Whatever you got. Whatever is given to you, study your books and be positive and optimistic. And everything is going to be everything. And the middle skin set up. So watch now. Stay positive. Everybody never like you. Because guess what? Me, a lot of people don't like me. But that made me stronger. Because I realized that I'm doing something different that they don't like. Yeah, I'm doing something totally different. And because I'm headstrong and I'm standing for it caused a lot of headache. But I could care less. Once I get the advice from positive people and I start something on the other community of subs and other people decide to put giant hands and run with it, it motivates me. So Guyanese, we can do this. Together, yes we can. And we will.